Hi, replay viewers. Hope you are doing well. Hey, Deborah. I'm here in Mississauga. I live in Mississauga, just outside of Toronto. And I was doing some work at home and I was getting blinded by the sunset. And I thought, you know what? I'm gonna go out and scope it because it is absolutely beautiful. Ontario Science Center, welcome. You know what, Ontario Science Center, I'm gonna be seeing you next week. And I have to tell you, I am your first follower. So I'm pretty proud of that. I'm glad you guys are on board, it's gonna be fun. So I'll chat with you a little bit more next week. Guys, welcome. I am here in Mississauga, just outside of Toronto. You can see the Monroe Towers right uh, in front of us. Welcome, Pink Palouse. Welcome, everyone. Welcome, replay viewers. I couldn't sit in uh, my living room being blinded by the sunset without coming out and just sharing it with you guys. Hi Angela, welcome. Everyone welcome. This is a uh, sunset happening here in Ontario, just outside of Toronto. Woo -woo. Yes, next week. I'm so excited that you guys are on uh, Periscope now and I'll have to tell you a little bit more about all the things that you can do. Hi from Scarborough, Angela. Hi, welcome, welcome. So that's the Monroe Towers uh, just over here. I'm just probably, if you know Ontario at all, I'm just south of the 401, the 407, and just north of the Gardner. So Mississauga is probably about a half an hour west of Toronto. And I just wanted to catch the sunset because I've never, I've never done a sunset. And it's just so beautiful and the temperature, I think it's like uh, 10. DVS 71 Chicago welcome thanks for joining guys hello from Chicago thanks for the hearts thanks for the follow everyone watching at home on your Apple TV get outside and experience this gorgeous weather if you're here in Ontario I face east so this is awesome yeah it is so nice <laughs> like I said this is my first sunset that I've caught on Periscope so I'm pretty happy and the temperature you know like I am in um, here I'll just show you I am like just in like a sweater so but it's nice oh, turn this around <laughs> I want I don't want to shoot me I want to shoot the um, the sunset thanks guys for popping in the hearts If you're not following me, this is your first time on my scope. Thanks for the thumbs up. Then uh, you can hit the little guy if you're live on my scope right now. You can hit the little guy in the lower right corner and you can follow me here. And I'm on Snapchat as well. I'm trying to figure Snapchat out. It's uh, interesting. It's nice lately. We deserve a break from the winter's past. Yeah, I know DVS. It's absolutely gorgeous. I was downtown Toronto um, today I didn't scope downtown Toronto because I had a late lunch Hamad Ode thanks for joining I don't know if I said your name correctly I hope so you've just joined Karen I usually scope in and around Toronto hello welcome today I live in Mississauga and we're in Mississauga right now and I'm just catching the sunset. It is absolutely gorgeous as it goes down. You can see the Monroe Towers in the distance. This life is mine. Welcome. I'm doing really well, especially on a gorgeous day like today. I think it was like 11, a high of 11 today. So if I were to walk from my backyard over to the Monroe Towers right over there, it would probably take me about 30 minutes. Here, I'll take a walk and I'll just show you. It's in my backyard. So I literally, so this is my backyard. This is beautiful over here. It's a, it's a park and if you go deeper, they've got um, baseball diamonds, lawn bowling, uh, swimming pool. This is a rec center over there. And I think it's, uh, what time is it? Let me hold up. It's just before five o'clock here and we're going to be seeing a lot of rush hour traffic 
So this is a pretty busy, busy area right here where I live. I really enjoy, I saw the Monroe Towers being built. Um, pretty, pretty impressive. But they're probably about a half hour walk for me if I were walking there. And square one is just beyond there, which is one of the hugest malls in Canada. Thanks for the hearts, Hamad. Is that how, I, how you say your name, Hamad? Sorry. But yeah, I wanted to catch the sunset because ne I've never caught the sunset. Thanks for the hearts, guys. Thanks for joining. Thanks for anyone on replay. Ooh, it's windy. I'm going to go back. Try and go backwards. Let's see. I'm going to go back. Sunset now. Yes, it's sunset. It's about 5 o'clock. It's rush hour here in uh, Mississauga. And if you were downtown Toronto, if you're caught in traffic and watching this on your, in the passenger side of your car, no sun here, so I'll enjoy yours. <laughs> Thanks. I'm glad I can bring it to you. I haven't been to square one in forever. Well, Angela, if you visit square one, it is uh, totally changed. They made, had a major renovation. So there are a lot of stores. Um, it's, you should check it out. It's, it's pretty massive. So guys, again, if you're new to my scopes, I scope in and around Toronto. And tonight I just caught the sunset, my first sunset ever on Periscope. As we see it go down here in Mississauga beside the Monroe Towers. Thanks for the hearts, sweet. So I know uh, Ontario Science Center was on here a little earlier. I'm gonna be joining them next week. Um, they're gonna have a special night. Yeah walking distance from the, the square one. Yeah, it's probably a half hour walk from here. It's a nice walk. But Ontario Science Center, if you're not following them, follow them. We're gonna be scoping the mammoth um, new exhibit that they're gonna be having at the Science Center here in Toronto. And um, I was showing uh, them how to use Periscope. It is a beautiful sunset. And I think they have a few followers and I was their first follower. I think they probably have five followers or something and now I'm the first one. But it won't take long for them to get a huge amount of followers for sure. Woolly Mammoth exhibit, yeah, at uh, the Ontario Science Centre. There's a special um, viewing and discussion next week that I'm invited to. So I'll be scoping that. So join me for that. That's Tuesday night. I'll be doing that. And maybe a few more if they let me in but uh, they've been very nice they you don't normally you're not allowed to um, videotape at the Science Center but uh, I asked them if I could periscope so I went over periscope with them and showed them a lot of stuff and now they're on periscope so they're gonna be scoping I can't wait till they scope their first scope I've been waiting uh, but it might be next week maybe they'll do it next week for the mammoth exhibit because I'll be there too so It'll be fun, a lot of fun. So guys, I hope um, if you're not following me, tap the little guy in the lower right corner. That would be great for you to, to follow me. You could bring in more business for them. Well, you know, I just love uh, promoting uh, Toronto and what we have to offer. And this is a worldwide audience. So I'm really, really happy that um, I brought, uh, I mean, they, they heard of Periscope, but then when I came in and I was showing them a little bit, then I, I got really excited about it. I was able to scope the Chicago History Museum. Oh, fantastic. Did you have a curator with you or did you scope it yourself? Because I know um, the Royal Ontario uh, Museum, the ROM here, uh, you're allowed to periscope or to videotape anything. It's just about the connection, right? Just freelance. Yeah, I mean, I'm not getting paid for scoping and stuff like that. I just really enjoy doing it. 
So guys, what I'll do is I'll leave you here on this beautiful sunset. And again, I'm on Snapchat. So I was snapping uh, a lot. No curator. Oh, okay. I was uh, Snapchatting quite a bit today. So you can follow me on Snapchat at Karen Mancini. I think Karen Mancini 6. And on Twitter at Karen Mancini. And then here on Periscope at Karen Mancini. Karen Mancini all over the place. So guys, have a wonderful night or day wherever you are in the world. And I will chat with you, scope with you very, very soon. Take care.